Okay, we're now looking at uh, some Lee and Grant M3 medium tanks as used by the 1st Australian Armoured Division in World War II and uh, I must admit I've never really been certain about the difference but I've got the good oil now. The, uh, the Lee had an American turret with the uh, 37mm gun on the top there, whilst the Grant had a uh, British cast turret. As you can see it's a bit of a half ass beast in so far as it's got the larger 75mm gun on the side in what's called, and I hope I've got this correct, a sponson, a sponsoon. Lee Grant saw a lot of service with the 8th Army and the Americans in North Africa until they could really get the Shermans up and running properly. And the 1st Australian Armoured Division, 2nd AIF, this was its main piece of kit. However, it failed to see any overseas service in major numbers as a fully armoured division. And here we are looking at various engineering vehicles with the dozer. Apparently that one did make it to Bougainville. And this is a Yaramba, which is an Australian adaptation of a Lee Grant chassis into a self-propelled 25 pounder. And I have to say it reminds me a little bit for some of the stuff that I play around with on World of Tanks. I've got to do it. Look at this. That's cool. Let's actually go and have a look inside the Aramba. There you go, there's the 25 pounder. Those circular holes would have been where the shells were held. Uncovered, of course. Mm, that mightn't have been too pleasant if it had been hit by any piece of uh, enemy metal. Now we'll just quickly pan over where we've got a Sherman. Let's walk over to the Sherman. Now, from memory, there was only a couple of Shermans, maybe only even one, made it to Australia and entered service with the Australian Army. It was only for evaluation purposes. Obviously they made thousands of the bastards in America and whilst it was relatively cheap and easy to manufacture it was not necessarily the best medium tank of World War II um, various nicknames for it from memory include the one shot lighter and the Germans knew it as the Tommy Cooker. Probably the best version was the uh, British Fire Firefly which had a uh, 17 pounder gun put on it. There. Of course the Shermans were then updated quite some time later during the 50s and 60s as Super Shermans and saw service with the Israeli army during the 1967 Seven Day War. 1967 Six Day War. Seven Day War. God. <sighs> yeah. Let's do another pan of all these armoured vehicles. Yeah.